pretty good. Ballant uh, missed his driving shot attempt. Gebler had the right idea, but uh, good defense played by the Eagles knocked that ball out of bounds. See if you can get a shot of Coach Flipsy over there with the white tie on. He's standing in front of the bench at, at some point. Chris mentioned Craig Sager and uh, his wild outfits. Uh, Coach Wissy came dressed for the part. Yeah, he said that Coach Rader forgot. <laughs> yeah, R Ken Rader was supposed to do the same thing, but uh, forgot his uh, little outfit. Deep. Rainbow by Ballant again, no good. Ball is tipped away. Modal going after it, but couldn't get it. Mackey comes away for the Bombers with the ball and a tie at six score. And foul on the floor. This is the first foul on the Eagles with 13-14 left. All goes on Steenwick. Nice easy mix. basket for Raider, Marty. Okay. Off the inbounds. All two-point baskets for the Bombers. And a couple of threes for the Eagles. Inside feed to Steenwick, and then he tries to feed it over to uh, Wissy, but it goes through his legs and not a bounce down at the other end of the court. Boy, oh boy. Kohler, four and one, two and one in league play, lost to Lutheran the other day. Raider, I think, got away with the walk. Oh, uh, big Missed time. Shot. And Gebler tried to throw it off an eagle, but uh, he was standing out of bounds. Christian will get it out. Bugby comes up to uh, pressure Ballant as he takes it across the line. Modal open from the corner, had his shot blocked by Farrell. Eagles will keep it. Modal doesn't have any threes either. That was. Hey, got to get one at some point. Might as well do it while you're on TV. That's right. <laughs> no screens, nothing there. <laughs> no. Eagles trying to force it inside. You know, you had mentioned about Modal and his football exploits going both ways. Uh, you can just see he's a battler in there. Oh, yeah. Clock rolling down to the 12-minute mark of the first half. It's 8-6. to six. Kohler. Travel. Ballant didn't get the ball down in time. Scott Mailoff is our director tonight. Greg Zablock is on the floor camera. Nate Free is up here with us in the balcony. I'm Mike Martin along with Chris Wright. Gebler's three ball is no good. Mackey, one bounce, gets it off the glass and in. Good rebound put back by the little guy. Eagles not getting much out of their offensive set, Chris. No, a lot of standing around. Ballant, jump stop in the lane, got it up and in. Just like you learn in camp. Just as we said, they don't get much off of their offense. Nope. They did. Yep. Bugby had an opening from three ball land, but decided not to take it. Farrell drives to the hoop, missed it, and taps it up in the crotch of the racket, uh, basket. <laughs> Lemonis gets a gold star from the official for knocking the ball down. There's a good shot of uh, Levi. Caleb Rice could tell in the game, Marty, for 
Sheboygan County. There's a name that just uh, rolls off your tongue. Should see the spelling people. Little down the lane, pulls up and put nail to three, a two pointer, pardon me. We're all tied at 10. Jack Crawl in the game for the Bombers. Wow. Well, Ballant from the parking lot couldn't get it to go. Lemonis with the rebound off the glass and in. Sometimes you take a bad shot, Chris, and good things happen. Mackey's shot is no good, but uh, Rumaninsky comes away with the board for the Bombers. Whoops. Kepler, I think, wanted to pull up jumper, but uh, no. Ball was on Ooh. the floor. I, I didn't think there was a walk, Chris. I know that's what you thought, right? Walk. I didn't think there was. Lemonis picks up his first. Both teams sitting with two team fouls. Just under 10 minutes. Yeah. Brett Flips, he thought, like you, that was a travel. So you guys are probably right and I'm wrong. <laughs> That's how that works at home. My wife thinks she's right and I think I'm right, she's right. <laughs> Shot no good, Farrell with a strong rebound off the glass and in. He's a beast in there. He's hard to stop. <laughs> Under 10 minutes. 12 to 12. Modal works his way through the lane and flips it out. Rice Cattell, no good. Rebound put back by Wissy is good. Gebler looking to go in the lane. Kicks it out. Good cut through the lane by Mackey and he scores. Moving without the ball. The key there, if you're watching, you young kids. <laughs> you know, one of the uh, Christian players, I think, is bleeding. We want that rectified before we move along. Uh, we do have a, actually a very important annou announcement. Our next game is uh, next Friday, December 22nd. It's Wall of Fame induction night at North High and uh, one of the best candidates ever, and I mean that ever, is going in on that night. Uh, it's Kayla Tetchlog, played with uh, North High basketball and uh, you know about their exploits, finishing second in state. And they, she also went to state at least twice, maybe three times in tennis, Chris. She could play with us. Yep, went on to play at UW Green Bay and a couple trips to the NCAA tournament. Yeah. And she's a wonderful, younger lady. And she played pro ball in Europe. Yep. Shot is no good. Mackey drives down the lane, kisses it off the glass, and he's got two more points. He's got six tonight. Struggled the other night, but he's got some Pretty good shot so far. Moto breaks the Kohler run with a basket. Eight minutes left in the first half. We're tied at 16. Ra Raider oh my. dipped the shoulder and uh, knocked the defender Moto down. See, that one I don't agree with, though. Let's take a look. Well, caught it too late. Yeah. He, he really had a nice fake. And the fake got uh, Moto off the ground, and when he came back, Moto was there and hit the turf. There's A.J. Bucchini in the corner with his dad. Yep. Doug. Jared Jers. Sheboygan Lutheran. We saw those guys play the other night. They played very well. Yes, they did. Ballant 
Jump shot from the free throw line. Is off, no good. Farrell with the rebound, leading the break. Or in the offense, looking to get something going. Gebler oh. rims out. Had good a good look again. Yep. Christian looking to take the lead. It's been a very quick first half, Chris. Unlike the uh, girls varsity game before this one. A lot of standing around, Marty. I think what Modal wants is an open floor to take it to the hoop against Farrell. Good help defense by Carter Gebler. Tip the ball away. Bugby open from outside the line. Put it up, no good. And tipped out of bounds by Rice Cattell. Oh, stay down at Kohler's end. You see Bugby doing the inbounds. Gets it to Farrell. He's a little too far underneath the basket, though. Now he's not. Four of six from the floor, Marty. Eight points. Came in at 17 a game. He's almost halfway there now. Much more movement this time by yeah. the Eagles. Ballant with an open three, but again, he couldn't get it to go. Missed his four of his threes, Marty, and he's just one of seven overall. Good hustle by Modal and Bugby, and uh, Modal's hustle paid dividends. They're going to keep the ball down here. Tossing in for the Eagles is uh, Trevor Wissey. We've seen that play before, Chris. Right. Kohler was all over it, too. Yeah, they saw it before. Rice Cattell trying to be a little too quick. Catch the ball first. Fourth turnover on the Eagles. Mackey bringing it up. Good quickness. Saw that the other night. Bugby. That's got to be a charge, too. And Bugby picks up the ball. That's his second. Fourth team foul. Watch, Watch this. Dip his shoulder. Yep. Nailed him right in the chest. Only two fouls for the Eagles. Little more pressure every time by Kohler. Make him work it up the floor. Kohler playing a good defense. Tipped it away from uh, Levi Modal and then it went off of him. Kohler's gonna get it back with a two point lead. Gebler brings it across. Under five and a half left in the first half. It's 18 to 16. Gebler doing a little too much shaking, not enough bacon, Chris. Couldn't get find an open yeah, shot. Yeah, once again, it's a lot of I don't know what's going on. There's a little more action, movement. Gebler down the lane, scores on a runner. Just a sophomore. Good player. As was his dad. Really good athlete. Yeah, good. You know, he, you know what? He's a better baseball player. Oh, yeah. But he was a good basketball player, too. Oh, yeah. Foul, and the basket is good. Modal has a look at a three point play. And this will be our first free throw of the night. Three of seven from the floor for Modal. Got a couple of rebounds. Farrell just picked up his second foul, Chris. So it's two starters. Could be 
Taking would, a seat on the bench. I would think uh, he would go to the bench, but he's not, a, and he is. Jack Crawl coming in. 20 to 19, Kohler on top. 6-4, Jack Crawl is an outstanding number 14 for Kohler, cross country runner. Okay. I believe he got maybe second in the conference in that. Yep, we're off the glass, scores. He's finding something. Kyle Fowler, number 40 in the ball game for the Eagles. He's got the ball right now. Wissey from outside the line, no good. Raider with the rebound, nice bounce pass to Crawl, but he couldn't handle the ball, he turns it over. <laughs> really nice quarter court pass by uh, Mackey. Kohler with their fourth turnover. Fowler stopping his dribble just short of the screener. Left things a little clogged up. Wissy on a little pick and roll, but they're going to get him for a travel. Not very smooth on the exchange, Chris. He gave and went or go, and there was just no room for him. And the pass was there, and there was no room. Gebler from outside the line trying the three ball again. Couldn't get it to go. Rumaninski with the rebound. Mackey, bango. Three? A three ball. Mackey, four of seven. Held the pose, Chris, and it went down for him. And Kohler getting away a little bit from Christian. Yeah, up to six points, that's yeah. their biggest lead. Yeah, it was been pretty close. Model with a leaner. Nice. Got it to go. He comes in shooting over 50% from the floor, Levi. Seven points, in nine points so far. There you see Brett Flipsy in the corner with his white tie on, his arms folded. Can't quite get the true colors, although the pants do wonders <laughs> <laughs> for the look. Romaninsky bounced a couple times on the rim, but wouldn't go down. And uh, Raider picks up the foul. And he now has two. Kohler with six team fouls, three different players have two. Ben Hines in the game for him. Bonus time for Christian, get any more. 2.30 left in the first half. Fowler couldn't get it in. But he does draw a foul, it'll be a two shot foul too. Crawl picks up the foul. Get a look at uh, Fowler's free throw. Hey. A good job. shot of Kyle. Second one dropped right through. Just like that, it's a one possession game. Yes, it is. Gebler trying to uh, get the team to move a little bit. That's uh, a walk. <laughs> that you cannot do. <laughs> it works well on the playground. <laughs> Ragamoni in the ball game. Yep, is number 22. 
Lemonis trying to fight for it. Modal picks it up. Wissy from wide open at three ball land. Couldn't get it. Lemonis couldn't get the rebound. Kohler comes away with it and making the interception. And then was uh, Wissy and picking up the foul trying to uh, stop the eagle break was uh, Kohler's Tyler Rumaninsky. We saw the other night him get a couple physical fouls. There was one as well. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't get cheated on his fouls. Uh, I gotta agree with you there. And if I believe, I think I'm right on this until maybe the last possession of the half. Kohler hadn't shot any free throws that whole first half the other night till they, right at the end, they picked up one free throw. And again tonight, they haven't shot a free throw yet. And a reload. A reload is right. Good call on that. It's 25 23. Another shoe off again. Yeah, I think it was Wissy the first time, and it's yeah. Wissy the second time. <laughs> Better be working on the high cuts. Another missed shot, but getting the rebound was the Eagles. <laughs> Levi Modal. Romaninsky picking up the foul. He's got two also. A little bit flat on the arc, but the ball went down. I have him at 70% on the year, Marty. Five of six so far tonight, six of seven for the Eagles. And right back to even. You're right. Mackey being uh, guarded closely as he brings it up, and then we've got a foul on the floor. Keen White picks up the foul, it's his second. And Rice Cattell comes in for him. There's two Kohler starters in it uh, in the game, Gebler and Mackey. Fouls have uh, hurt their uh, front line. One thing we found out the other night about Kohler is uh, they don't have much scoring off the bench. And with uh, three starters out, that leaves it up to Mackey and Gebler yep. for points. <laughs> I take it all back. Ben Hines, take that, Mr. Martin. That's his first three of the year as well on a TV game. <coughs> Rolling down to a minute left. Rice Cattell in the lane, no good. Modal with the loose change scores. Kohler up by one with 45 seconds left. Mackey rims out. Lemonis with the board. I think he got slapped in the face, but uh, no worse for wear. His 10 footer from the lane is no good. But Modal comes away with the rebound again. And then he loses it to Ragamoni. He has four offensive rebounds, Levi Modal, in the half. Kind of like the other day with Lutheran against Kohler. Christian's doing the same job in the paint. Doing the little things. Nineteen seconds left. Kohler up one. Kohler would like to hold it for one, but a lot of pressure by the Eagles. It's going to be a blocking foul, but only the. I've got them as. Uh, yep, it's going to be their fifth foul. Nine point one seconds left. Once Mackey gets it, he's not going to give it up. Nice Cattell. Six, five. Rice Cattell picks up another foul. That's his second. And that's actually pretty smart. 
You know, that's not bad fouls because they're not in the bonus. And now they have to reload and watch Kohler go backwards here. Mackey with a floater and the no good rebound by Modal. And we're at halftime with Kohler up 28 to 27. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us. We go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat, write, or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. Taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper corner. You even taught him how to hit the open man. But how much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? Being prepared is a part of who you are, but it's especially important in the case of a disaster. Be informed about possible emergencies in your area. Make a plan that covers where you'll go in an emergency. Build a kit with the things you need to survive. There's no one more capable of planning for your situation than you. Start your plan today. Go to ready.gov slash my plan. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org caregiving.
the winners, duck number 15, Josh Muller. Can you come to the scores, scores table? Okay, a couple more halftime announcements. First of all, the, uh, the raffle basket uh, winners, uh, basket number one. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. <laughs> I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Hi. May I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Good. Take that first step towards a better future. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org. I'm Jenny Garth, and as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Uh, no, no. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. You think getting dumped by text is harsh? Try getting dumped by tennis ball. My ex-owner drove me out to the woods, yelled fetch, and by the time I bought the ball back, he was gone. Yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> but the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger. I learned coping skills, like taking it to the hole. Boom! Now I'm ready to fetch again. But how about I throw and you run and get it? High school, some halftime stats. Leading scores. The leading scorer of the half was Levi Modal with 13 points. Leading the Kohler Blue Bombers was Ben Mackey with uh, nine and uh, Sean Farrell with eight. Uh, Chris, what do you got for uh, some rebound and uh, turnover stats? <laughs> Not much. I got I got called over. I was talking to Kevin Bruning of Oostburg. He's here. Uh, the Howard's Grove coach is here. 
Uh, the uh, Mantuag Lutheran group is here. And then, of course, we talked to uh, Brad Bolko. So, unfortunately, I'll add up those numbers in a little bit. But uh, there's just, we were talking a little bit of how the league is pretty tough. And, you know, even like Christian, they, uh, Coach Brunig was saying, you know, they got their five starters, he said, as good as any in our league, you know. Maybe their depth isn't as good, but uh, I asked how tough this league is, and he said they're pretty. It's pretty tough. And uh, Howard's Grove is ranked number two in uh, Division Four. You know, Mantuak Lutheran is 7-0. Howard's Grove is 6-0. Sheboygan Lutheran's 5-1. Random Lake's 3-1. Oostburg's 3-1. Then you got Kohler up there. I mean, there's some really good teams. We enter second half action with Kohler up one. Uh, they got down nine, but were able to battle back. We're going to get a blocking foul on Levi Modal, I believe that is. That's going to be his first. One thing uh, Christian did a great job in the first half was uh, fouling. They only had six fouls, and a couple of those were strategic ones. Here we have uh, Farrell scoring again. He's now got 10 points. Well, Farrell got that second foul, and that took a lot of Kohler's offense away. And uh, Levi Modal kind of took advantage of that, and that's just not a good shot again there. Yeah, Ballant had his shot blocked, actually. Farrell looked up the three-point, but pulled it back. Bugby comes in for a two-ball and couldn't get it to go, and Modal again comes away with the rebound. Bug be guarding him close. Bugby is averaging right around 10. Oh, wow. great pass by Ballon. Levi Modal scores and is fouled. It's going to say Bugby is averaging right around 10 a game. And uh, he had no points in that first half, Chris. Matter of fact, I don't remember him taking more than one or two shots. Just one. Late arrival at the bench. Romaninsky in for Bugby. Made free throw here would tie it up at 30. Bugby now with three fouls. Whistle on on this end. Oh boy, Steenway with three. Yeah, he's the one who's just been assigned to uh, Mackey tonight. Farrell lost the ball on the way up. Three ball from the side is no good. Gebler comes away with the rebound. And a good pass and layup. Mackey on the score, good pass from Gebler. That was pretty. Steenwick on the wing, he's sitting with three fouls. Ballant again looking for Finally. a three. Finally. Got it. He had missed his first five, Marty. Oh boy. Got that one to go. Means he got to start guarding him. Raider has it on the wing. Farrell taking a three ball. I think that's his third on the year because he had one the other night. Oh, good defense by Kohler. Not good offense by uh, the Eagles. Mackey comes away with a basket. Back to a one-point lead, 15-30 left. Good read of that pass by Farrell too, Chris. Henry takes me back to those years when uh, TJ Grams was at South and they ran that uh, trapping press and knew when to come up. Mackey, uh, Moto, pardon me, a good move inside, scores, and Christian has the lead right back. Seven of 11 from the floor, from Modal. Go, go. 
Farrell shot on the baseline, no good. Wissy, quick release, and he's got three. Four three of the night for Christian, I have. Christian up four points, their largest lead. Mackey crashing into players, but uh, I believe he was fouled before him. Steenwick with his fourth foul, Chris. Coach Flipsy taking a chance, rolling the dice, left him in there. Rice Cattell checks in for him. Farrell going hard to the basket. They're calling a foul on the floor, however. <laughs> Gotta work on my hand right, Chris. Raider drops it inside to Farrell. He makes a move. Kisses it off the glass for two. Wissy, nice good move. move. Inside, Komodo puts it up against Rumaninsky and he picks up the foul. That'll be his third. Komodo will be at the line again. Bugby checks back in for the Bombers. Nice what a little rebound. pair of misses. Yeah, that was a nice rebound. Barrel with his seventh, averaging six on the year, over his average. Mackey with a good move, scores. And a better roll. Those are important. Six of 12 from the floor for Mackey. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bryce Cattell lost it on the dribble, and uh, you know, you talked about the other coaches saying how the Eagles' starting lineup is as good as any in the conference. It's when you get down. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> to the subs that it. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, if you look at the stats and everything, everything's for their starters, that's for sure. Mackey with a quick relief, so it's pass from Farrell, and he's got three more. He's got all four baskets he's shot here, and from four points down to three points up for the Bombers. Coach Slipsy uh, chooses not to take a timeout. 13 minutes left in the second in the ball game. Ballant under pressure. Ball bounces out, Farrell with the rebound, and Kohler's on the run. Gebler open. Wow. He nails a three. Timeout now. Timeout now. Was, wasn't it 38-34? Yes. 10-0 ten, run? That's right. 10-0 run. 13 and a half, 12 and a half left in the first in the ball game. Kick out to Ballant, almost looked like he walked, but uh, no call. Ballant's gotta get going, he's just two of 10 from the floor. Wissy couldn't get it in, Bugby with the rebound. Kohler again, pushing the ball, there's a carry, big time. You know the last couple of games we've had trouble with uh, our sound issues and my wife always lets us know how it sounds, at least from our house. She said, tonight, game is pretty good. I can hear clearly, so we're happy about that. I know Scott was concerned trying to figure out what was going on. Hopefully we got that settled. Certainly want to have it good for Friday's game, Chris. Yep. Not that we wouldn't want it good for every game. I mean, we have so much to say. 
And Mackey with a travel. Each team with eight turnovers now. That's actually not too bad, I don't think, nope. for this uh, part of the game. They're both about even on shooting, too, which is probably why it's so close. Balance being guarded by uh, Mackey. He pulls up for a 16-footer, no good. Wissy didn't have his legs under him for that putback. Gebler starts the offense out from the point. And a back cut by Mackey. Beautiful pass by Bugby. And uh, they got it cooking tonight, Chris. They're rolling now. 46-38. It's a 12-point run for the Bombers. Steenwick, no good. Bugby. Uh-oh. Bango. Another three. Coach Flipsy's just letting it roll here. Now he calls timeout. Timeout by the Eagles with the score 49-38. And there's 10.52 left. They're going to take a 30 here, but uh, boy, oh boy. Threes are raining. And what's our run here? 15, 15? 4, 15 point run. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 point run in that run. They've had uh, three threes. Mackey, Gebler, and Bugby. It's, uh, they've been dominating the rebounds and uh, getting the ball out and running, and that's produced some wide open shots. And they're shooting 69%. The Bombers are in the second half. Tanner Kowitz in the ball game, number 32. Kohler still in a man-to-man -man defense. Joe Bugby was the quarterback. I thought, oh, okay, you're right. And uh, Modal, I think, carried the, the ball. Kowitz couldn't get it to go. And coming away with it was Bugby, but we're going to get a tie-up situation, and it's going to stay down on that end. The Eagles will keep it. Whoops. Whoops. Ballant ran in, the pass went over his head and out of bounds. Just some advice, Marty. When both of us say oops at the same time, that means it's not a good thing. <laughs> Just for notes for you listeners out there. When we both use the same term and it's not a positive. It's bad. It's bad. Mackey with a good feed inside. To Farrell, his shot is off, no good. Ballant with the rebound. Got to find some scoring. Ballant from the parking lot. Again, no good. Ball's going to go on Steenwick, and that's five. He's gone. Oh. Lemonis. Picks up the ball, and that's his second. My bad, Brett, sorry about that. Kohler sitting with only two team fouls here in the second half. Mackey with a quick cut down the lane, but couldn't get the uh, basket to go. I don't even think he looked at the basket. I do that, I used to do that all the time. I shot better that way. <laughs> Good double by Mackey. Mackey with a lot of help there. They're gonna get uh, Ballant on the foul. Gebler. Well, we're halfway through the second half. 
And uh, Christian's been stuck on 38 for a while. Uh, nice feed by Ballant to Levi Modal, but he couldn't get the shot to drop, and that's uh, pretty much par for the course hey, go, go. this second half for uh, the Eagles. Raider with a 15-footer, bangle. <laughs> nice little step in and shot. He's three of five tonight. Came into the game averaging just around six. We got him with uh, six points here in the ball game. Modal drawing a lot of attention, Marty. <laughs> and why not? Yeah. Got half the airport by him. Lemonis, three-point attempt is no good. And as good as Kohler's shooting, it's been dry for Christian. They led 38-34. Well, he got a good feed inside, but took it out. They're going to get a blocking foul on Modal. a call that looked it could have gone either way it looked like the driver dropped his shoulder uh, Modal's moving at the same time and uh, huh, what do you do another 30 second timeout for Christian Marty they're just shooting 25 percent in the uh, second half both teams had two three-point baskets in the uh, first half Chris but uh, Kohler has got three in the second and uh, Christian has two, so that's not you know, too bad, but uh, they got a lot of two-point baskets to go along with those three threes. Next game, Friday night, last one of the year for us. Yeah, December 22nd, Friday night at North. It's Wall of Fame induction. Kayla Tetchlog going in. Uh, North oh playing Manitowoc. <laughs> Mackey with an easy two. That should never happen in varsity basketball. Speaking of inbounds plays for points, how about that Badger game the other night? Yep. Ballant Fine. got a jump shot to go. That's about a five and a half minute drought. Also stops a 19 to nothing run. Ballant three of 14 from the floor. Ruglin, he's coming in averaging 18. Farrell with a runner, couldn't get it to go. That was kind of a force. Fowler in the ball game for the Eagles. He had a point in the first half, making one of two free throws. Thirteen point lead for the Bombers. Lemonis up and in, and he's followed by Raider. <laughs> Lemonis with some hang time. Romaninsky in for Mackey. Ben Mackey having a good night here, Chris. Nine points in the first half. 11, 12, 13. 22 points so far. I have a nine of 16, I believe. Mackey's only missed one basket in the second half. The one when he didn't look at the basket. <laughs> That's right. Farrell had a man open in the corner. Apparently he didn't see him. Romaninsky was wide open. Fowler. Oh, oh. got to have it. Yeah, really. Put it inside again. Again, oh. he couldn't get it in. Around the tall timbers. And Gebler making a good decision there not to uh, force the ball up the court. Hey. 
We'll see guarding uh, Carter Gebler. Fuller looking real comfortable running their offensive set. They're running a little clock, Marty. Exactly. Bugby with a 14-footer, nails it. It's always nice to run clock for about 45 seconds and then get a two-pointer after that. Very deflating for your opponent. See how Christian responds. Five, rolling to the 5.30 mark. Model looking to uh, go down the lane, but uh, double team help uh, prevented that. Balance with a good fake. Uh, didn't look real smooth on that jump shot, Chris. Tough night shooting, Marty. Yeah, he has had a tough night. And uh, when you're playing a team as good as Core, you know, you got to be working on all, I think you have all your starters working, doing good. Little ties up barrel. Ball's going to stay down here. Core has the possession arrow. Kohler getting, uh, pardon me, Farrell of Kohler getting a well-deserved rest. Raider from outside the line. No good, Romaninsky with good hustle to get it back. His third offensive rebound, Marty. Bugby changes hands to shoot the layup, but it wouldn't go down. Bugby gonna get a foul here. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Somewhere. We're talking to uh, Brad Boko about the uh, fundamentals of playing defense, and uh, he was telling us you hey, play defense with your feet, not your hands. Balls on Gebler. <laughs> Oh, nice push. <laughs> and they're going to catch that one. Leminus uh, says, you mean me? I'm afraid so, Joe. The problem was it was a two-shot foul. <laughs> but he did push him. I don't know why he was. Him and uh, Bugby changing pleasantries. Laughing about that. Little was uh, three for three in the first half. He made his first free throw the second half. Now he's 0 for 3 here in the second. Finally got one in there. Yeah, and I said he came in shooting 70% from the free throw line, so. 55-44. 4.25 left in the ball game. Bugby with a good move inside, got uh, Modal to commit the foul. <laughs> Modal picks up his third foul, all of them here in the second half. Shooting two. We have Joe at 63% uh, from the free throw line coming in. Fuller shot, no free throws in the first half. Jason Liang comes in, number 25, Marty. And uh, this is their first free throw of the game, and that is their second. Leads now at 12. Which is kind of surprising because you see a lot of them going hard to the basket, Farrell especially down underneath. <coughs> Modal just forcing his way in there, and I believe it was Modal who get the tap in. I think we have a full timeout, Marty, our first Alrighty. one. Alrighty, full timeout with 3.54 left. Kohler on top, 57-46.
Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes being in the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one only sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. There you see some of the fans, Chris. We haven't caught anybody in a good Craig Sager outfit, though. <clears throat> They're out there somewhere. I'm going to try a little trap. 1-3-1. One, one. Kohler needs to take care of the basketball. Swing it. Watch there. You can't hold the ball there, Sean. And a bailout on a foul. Wissy gets called for the foul. You're right, Chris. They did uh, everything white till it went down to Farrell. <coughs> Hard on the free throw attempt. Ballant. He's got Wissy open in the corner a little bit late getting in the ball. Wissy on a floater driving in, couldn't get it. Bugby going hard to the basket, lays it up, it rolls off, and then we get a whistle. There's a case, Chris. Shoot that with the left hand. You're gonna get two. Well, Christian shooting is better than 25% right now, up to 29 for the half, but just not gonna help you win basketball games shooting that. Kohler, on the other hand, is cooled off from 70%. They're at about 55%. Boy, isn't that terrible. 59-46. Will Little. Willing his way. Yeah, spinning in the lane and scoring. Trying to lead him back, Marty. Three minutes left. No call. Mackey trying to draw the foul. He gets hammered as he goes through the lane. Smart play by Gebler there. See it. Pulling it out. Pass intercept. Levinus on the catch. Levinus from outside the line couldn't get it in. Ballant couldn't control it. I know that uh, Levinus hit the three way back in the beginning of the half. First half, that is, but uh, I don't think that's exactly his shot. Doesn't look like it. And he's uh, one of five. He needs to get his work done in the paint. When we talk about uh, Mackey and his scoring, Modal has uh, 23 points in the ball game. Good job by Kohler to pass up the shot for a three. Oh. Just missed that one basket, Marty. When he didn't look, other than that, everything's going in for him. Quite a difference from the other night when he couldn't make anything. Farrell trying to cut off Wissy, but he was a little bit late. Well, I go back. Well, not a bonus yet here. Sorry, Marty. Yeah. Under two minutes left, by the way, 158. Steenwick thought he had it, but it was short. And Gebler pulls it out. He's a pretty smart kid there. A couple times we've seen him pull it out and make some good choices. Carter Gebler. There's nobody down here. Farrell's got to make himself available. 30-second timeout for Kohler. 137 left. They're up by 14. Uh, Good second half by the Bombers. Well, no, 
five minute drought, based there, four and a half minute drought with about 12.30 left. It was 38-34, Eagles. They didn't score for, you know, roughly four and a half minutes and went from a four point lead to about a 15 point deficit and uh, it's about where we're sitting right now. 14 point lead for the Bombers. And they're gonna stay pace, try to stay pace with the big boys. Howard's Grove and Manitowoc Lutheran and Sheboygan Lutheran and Random Lake, all sporting really good records. I heard that uh, St. Mary's Menasha dropping out of the league either next year or the year after. Every game that they play in league is at least an hour drive. Lemoness picks up the foul. Only his third. Should be uh, bonus time now. Farrell is 66% on the year. And he's in double bonus situation here. He had 17 points coming into this trip to the line. A good shot of Sean. Puts in the second, gives him 18 on the night. One thirty left. Ballant being guarded closely by Model and Bugby. Taking away the three pointers, Marty. Yes, they are. Wissy open for just a second, got it up, and it rolled in for him. His second, excuse me, his third three of the game. A timeout by the Eagles. Why don't you talk on a little bit, Chris? I'm going to see what uh, Wissy has for points. Well, we catch Christian one more time in about a month when they travel over to Sheboygan Lutheran. This will be the last time we see Kohler. Thought it was a good idea to see Kohler this year. I kind of. Since we don't see Lutheran and Christian play each other. I thought that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Since uh, they only play each other once during the season now, it's nice to, I'm glad we included Kohler into the mix, you know, I, right up the road. And I do think the other thing you said is because we cover them in football, you know, the three school yep. combination team thing, it's good to spread out and cover them on the basketball side too. Yep, and we'll have a run of North and South games now for the next a couple months, uh, like I said, we got the uh, Lutheran Christian game and then we have the uh, North and South games coming up. Uh, both North and South teams well, about 500 for uh, the North side, South side. Uh, they're looking for their first win at the varsity level for both boys and girls. We'll get this in real quick. Wissy has 12 points. <laughs> <laughs> 105 left, Kohler on top by 12. Bugby wanted to go deep, but uh, Farrell came back to get the ball. Mackey scores again. Just goes to show what a great job Jonah Jerst did the other night on him. Shot is off, no good. And it's Helter Skelter. Yeah. And it's going to continue. Oh, no. I don't think the official wanted to blow his whistle, but he did accidentally. It's time to call the dogs <laughs> off. Yeah, Lemoness picks up his uh, third foul of the half, fourth of the game. Raider will be at the line shooting. We didn't mention him yet, but he's 90% from the free throw line. And he shows you why right there. Puts in a couple. Kohler still pressing. He's just going to lead the fouls. Wissy looking to go baseline, but the good defense by the Bombers to prevent that. 
Bellant off the glass and in. Oh boy. And a quick timeout. Another timeout by Christian. It's uh, been a good game to call, Chris. Yeah, I mean, like I said, except for that four right. and a half minute right, 19 drought. And run. Drought, it's uh, been pretty tight. Let's uh, figure out what uh, what Raider had in the ball game. He had four in the first half. Four so far here in the second half gives them eight for the game. But part of the good defense that uh, Kohler played tonight. Uh, they certainly held Ballant down for the most part. Uh, the guy that they didn't uh, control though was Modal. Yeah, well we knew he was gonna be a force come in. I got him for 11 rebounds too, Marty. Wow, double-double. And uh, tried to will his team back in late here. Farrell on a good catch. <laughs> Trying for the dunk. Not exactly a flush, flush but he got a basket. Ballant, rainbow rims out. Let this go, don't shoot again, don't shoot again. It's gonna end up 69-53, Kohler a winner. With the win, Kohler jumps to five and one, three and one in conference with the loss. Christian drops to two and five and one and three in conference. Uh, Chris, you did a lot of talking during the game, so I'm not going to give you too much time here after the game, but anything else you want to say about it? Well, I think we saw the real Kohler team, and you saw Christian, you, they have the capabilities with, with their starters, and they get in foul trouble and things, things hurt, but as you mentioned before, really exciting game. We saw two good ones this week. Yeah, and it was fun for us. We have one more game before the uh, holiday break. That'll be Manitowoc at North. That's on Friday, December 22nd. It's a Wall of Fame induction night. Kayla Tetschlag will be going in. We look forward to doing that. And uh, we want to thank everybody for watching. Great job by our crew. And for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you down the road. One more time, Kohler winner, 69-53.